Okay, not gonna lie, this trailer kinda goes hard. The official trailer for season two was just released and I wanted to break it down for y'all. So if you guys like these type of videos, tap like to help the algorithm and all that kind of stuff and subscribe and let's get right into those details. So what was the big theme of this trailer? The downfall of Reach. Lore-wise, this is a major turning point within the UNSC versus Covenant War because this is a major settlement that was taken down, the first one that was taken down within the lore of Halo. Yeah, some outer colonies got taken down, but Reach is where things really hit hard. As someone who read the book Fall of Reach, a big emphasis was actually space battles, which don't really get showcased very much in the game, but it looks like they are getting showcased a lot within the trailer here. So the first scene that we really see within the trailer is the new character Talia Perez, who is a communication specialist for the UNSC, which I think ties in a little bit more with the story within this trailer. We do see a big focus on Riz 028 from season one. A lot of her scenes with her out of her armor and being rather emotional. We can see here, these are probably the scars from her augmentation process of becoming a Spartan. And we see a moment with her with a tear coming down her eye. Did she have her emotional chip removed of like Chief and Kai125. I don't know, but it'd be interesting to see if she also gets into her emotional feels. Which if you want to touch on the emotions of what it's like to be a Spartan, this might be the way to go about doing it is having the surrounding cast around Master Chief experience what it's like to become like more human-like as a Spartan rather than Master Chief himself. Because Master Chief would be like the last guy to get the mail and be like, hey, you can be a human too. Compared to season one, which was kind of almost like a coming of age story for Master Chief, it was really weird. We have a couple of our Spartan heroes looking over this looks to be a communication tower. This comes up multiple times within the trailer. And I think this ties into the character of Talia Perez, or they might need a communication specialist to send a message out, be like, hey, Reach is under attack. Because we see this shot right before what would be like the war happening. And then that same tower during the war, and it's looking still there, but maybe they need Master Chief to kind of get to that point right there to kind of help send the message or something. Halsey's doing something weird that looks to be a bit of a side project to tie into supporting the UNSC still against the Covenant. This might be a way for Quan Oz's character to be involved with the story as she was involved with the Mystics in some way. As it was confirmed on Halo Waypoint's website right here, showcasing that Urana is coming back as Quan Ah within the show. This could be her character right here, following this crazy white haired lady. As she shows up later in the trailer during the war, it seems like she's kind of like a group of mystics in some kind of way, working together with the UNSC in some capacity. This whole story arc seems to be kind of concerning because it looks like they're definitely involved in some form of space magic, probably involved with the storyline of this. So we'll see what happens. We do see a lot of dialogue scenes with the character of James Ackerson here. He's a character from Halo lore being put into the show here. And it did state that his character is from Oni and basically he's kind of there to progress humanity whatever the means. And you can definitely see they're talking in a room surrounded by what looks to be dead bodies so likely doing some type of research to be, it might not be the best way to go about doing it but could help progress humanity in some kind of possibility and you can see uh, Captain Key is not exactly in a very happy mood about the whole situation that they're talking about. Again more focus on Riz without the helmet on and kind of rather exposed you know she got beat up a little bit so I think you were exposing a little about more vulnerability with the Spartan team within this season. The big concern as always is Chief with his helmet off. We saw a lot of helmetless Chief within this trailer. At least he's in the armor in the situation because we see him in this scene right here which looks like the headquarters of UNSC was under attack which I find kind of odd that that could possibly happen. Like if you knew aliens were at your doorstep when it came to the invasion of your planet you'd think you would have Master Chief and some of the other members of the UNSC Spartan team being all kitted up in their armor set so let's see how they got caught off guard here it will be quite interesting to see like how his master chief fight without his armor he's very vulnerable in the situation he may not have been trained in this so i don't know it'll be kind of interesting to see how you know put a spin on the whole combat side of things i will have to say a lot of the action scenes within this trailer just looked awesome like they look super good with how much of a focus the fall of reach is within this trailer i have to think that basically the the entire season is going to be the fall of this planet which would be kind of cool to see like an ongoing battle throughout the entirety of the season rather than like a season finale kind of thing or these at moments of epic battles that we had like within season one because even though the covenant can glass planets it does take a long time for them to actually pull it off using halopedia as a reference and it would take roughly 30 years for a covenant fleet of a comparable size 
to glass a planet like Earth. Meaning there definitely would be downtime within the war itself to where maybe the humans could find refuge to then discuss and strategize. Giving the story time to breathe to be able to have like these deep dialogue discussions within the storyline. One thing I found odd within this entire trailer that we saw the character of Talia Perez, right? Again, but it looks like she's in like an honor ceremony. She has scouts on her floor. I mean, like probably she was involved with the war, but then you move forward and you see like, yeah, this is the ceremony here at, with UNSC. Assuming this is reached in some capacity or whatnot, either this is happening at the very beginning of the season, but oddly, it could possibly be at the end for her to receive a reward for like bravery or something like that. Or just could be on just a completely different planet as they jumped off a of reach. Because we see her right here getting involved with the war. She was on the ground. Now this scene looked super freaking cool. Though this might be more of a throwback memory scene. This scene could be more of a memory scene from Master Chief because this could be retelling the death of Samuel 034 who died on the Covenant Cruiser they were trying to infiltrate during the book fall of reach the reason why this telling of the story is important because samuel was the first spartan to ever be officially listed as dead because normally spartans are listed as missing in action samuel does get labeled later as missing in action but he died on the cruiser ship that got blown up in that book so this could be a section of the series where it could have master chief cat explain his feelings was like the experience loss for the first time and they were all super young in this mission they were all like teenagers overall i feel like the trailer with this year is actually amazing like this actually gets me really excited for halo humanity kind of on the back foot it does seem to kind of draw into that old experience we had back in season one kind of draw into the feelings of what it's like to be a spartan and things like that which i'm open to that whole idea as well but i think it's more like the way they did it within season one wasn't really the right way and they might be doing it the right way this time around for season two Fingers crossed, hopefully. They do have a new showrunner who said he wanted to give a much more gritty, realistic tone to the series, which is exactly what we need from season one. But ultimately, we just need to wait and see. Recently, we did get some information about the next Halo game, right? Very early, but we still got some information. Check out that video right here if you want to know more about it. Thank you all for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.